Hey there, I'm Steve and you're watching Car Simplified. Today we're talking about tires and this information is going to be super useful to you from the day you buy your tires brand new all the way through the entire lifespan of the tire. Tires come in a wide variety of sizes and shapes and those sizes are printed on the side of the tire for easy identification. There will also be a letter code designating what it's designed for, like P for passenger vehicle, LT for light truck, C for commercial, or T for a temporary wheel like a spare. Next comes a series of numbers. The first number is the width of the tire in millimeters from sidewall to sidewall. The next number forces you to do a little bit of math to figure out what it means. It is considered the aspect ratio because it's a relationship between the width of the tire and the height of the sidewall. For example, if you had a tire that had the size 200 60, then the sidewall would be 120 millimeters tall. Next is a letter, usually R for radial. There's also bias ply, but they are much less common nowadays. That will be followed by the final number, which is the rim size in inches. Elsewhere on the tire, you'll be able to find a little oval with a four digit number in it. This is the date code that notes when this tire was manufactured. It's four digits, but think of it as two numbers. The first number, the first two digits, is the week that it was made. So 01 would be the first week, 30 would be the 30th week, and so on. The last two digits are the year that it was made, or at least the last two digits of the year that it was made. 18 would be 2018, and 05 would be 2005. This tire was made in the 39th week of 2017. Now let's take a look at the treads. Some tread wear is going to be obvious, like this tire. You definitely don't want to be driving around on this tire. The tread is ready to come apart. However, some tread wear is less obvious. Look for the tread wear indicator, the raised rubber line deep in the treads. Or at least it is when the tires are new. This tire has worn down all the way to the tread wear indicators. This may handle fine on dry roads, but there isn't enough tread left to channel water away. In another video, I'll cover how to diagnose alignment and tire pressure issues just by looking at the treads. Speaking of tire pressure though, let's get back to the sidewall. The tire is going to list the maximum pressure it can handle, but you don't want to inflate it to that. The tire pressure you actually want is usually located on a sticker inside the driver's side door frame pillar. Finally, we come to some of the least precise information on the tire, this rating system. You'll get a tread wear rating, a traction rating, and a temperature rating. Although tread wear always seems to get a three digit number and traction and temperature get letters, you can't really use this information to compare one brand tire versus another brand tire. It's really only useful for comparing different tires from the same manufacturer. They all rate them differently, so it's not super precise. Tread wear will give you a sense of how long the tire should last. Traction will give you a general sense of how much grip that tire has. And temperature gives you an idea of how well a tire can dissipate heat. That covers pretty much all the basic information you'll find on a tire. There's also speed ratings, which I'll put up on the screen. There's also manufacturer and factory location codes, which I didn't feel were super important to this video. There's also a load index, which will tell you how much weight the tire can carry safely. But if you think I missed anything really important, let me know in the comments. If you're looking to get new tires for your car and you're not sure about all of this, just ask a professional for help. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.